So, March at Geek Bomb is Women's Month. That is because the 8th of March is Women's Day. A sneaky four days before my 25th birthday. Don't worry, however, I am more than happy to share the hype with these majestic and terrifying creatures. There are definitely a lot of facts about women. This video could have been massive and full of them, but I decided that I was going to make it significantly shorter than my last video and point out some of the interesting things that the general public might not really know about women. With all that being said, I'm Nate and welcome to Rack Your Brains. Before we start off with the science, because I feel like that is my strong point, there was one fact that I found about women that I found quite comical and I thought I would share it with you guys because it's really interesting. So it's quite common nowadays to see women wearing heels, but in fact in the 1600s in Europe it was actually men who wore heels first. Women started to wear heels to make themselves seem more masculine in society and more important. The bigger the heel, the more important you were. This is because people kind of saw it as you weren't wearing them because they were practical. You're wearing them because they made you look good. Therefore, you didn't need to work. Therefore, you had money. It's a bit of a weird cycle. Now, it's my time to shine. Let's start from the top. Studies have shown that women speak around 20,000 words a day on average, which on average again, is 13,000 words more than men. Scientists have correlated this observation with a protein called FOXP2, which is in higher amounts in women than in men. The correlation between this protein and talking a lot was found in a study that was performed on rats. Male rat pups have been identified as being the chatterbugs, and they used to cry twice as much as what female pups used to do in this study. Because of this, the mothers tended to the male pups more than the females. Not only do women talk more than men, but they actually start talking on average earlier than men. Now, an argument for women is that they are constantly repeating themselves for men who don't listen or generally just don't understand. My counter argument is that women start earlier because they think they have something good to say. Please don't hurt me. The next point that I'm going to talk about is a relatively interesting one because there are some articles that support what I'm about to say and there are some arguments that don't support it at all. Physiologically speaking, men have a bigger brain than women. Except for there are a couple of research articles out there that says that the ratio between the two hemispheres and the corpus callosum is in fact actually bigger in females. For those of you who don't know what the corpus callosum is, it is a bit of tissue which connects the left and the right hemisphere together, allowing for communication to occur between the hemispheres. So, this increased tissue ratio to hemisphere size for females allows for greater communication to happen between the left and the right hemisphere, which some correlate to the increased ability to be able to multitask more effectively than men. So, men might have the brain power, but we don't have the brains to use it. Now let's move on to the senses. I don't know about you guys, but I've definitely been in the position before where I've been told that I can't cook by a female. It's not that I can't cook, I'm telling you now, I'm alright at it, but it's just that I may have balanced the flavours incorrectly. This is because women have better senses than men. All of them. All of the senses are better in females. That's why they have eyes in the back of their head. We started up here, we made our way down here. And as we continue to make our way down, we make it to the heart. I'm talking about the heart, guys. Come on. I hope that's the organ that everyone thought I was talking about. Hopefully it wasn't too misleading. In regards to the heart, they're basically identical between men and women, except for female hearts are a little bit smaller, so less muscle mass. Because of this, they actually have to beat harder and faster. Also, depending on who you ask, some people suggest that their heart is also colder. That's up for speculation. On to a more serious note, because of the decreased muscle mass, the signs of a heart attack are less obvious and more dangerous for females. If a woman is suffering a heart attack, she can expect nausea, indigestion, and shoulder pain instead of the conventional chest and neck pain that men usually suffer when they're having a heart attack. I feel like this is an excellent opportunity to point out that heart disease is the number one killer of all women, and that if you have any concerns, you definitely need to go see your doctor. Now, onto the final fact, and I've definitely saved the best to last. Every human 
on this planet started off as a female. Yes, that's the type of response I was actually looking for. We all start off as an embryo, and most of us have an XY set, which is male, or an XX set of chromosomes, which is female. Your body doesn't really care about your XX or your XY chromosomes to start off with, and it starts to develop a default body, which in this case is female. It's not until the organs that are responsible for the production of the sex hormone, so testosterone for males and estrogen and progesterone for females, it's not until they start to produce them that our body starts to differentiate. And because of these early stages before differentiation, there are some physiological features which we have in common. The one that I'm talking about in particular are nipples. That's right. Men don't really have any need for nipples. They're just there. Women do. They have nipples for breastfeeding and for luring men into traps. Restating the fact again. Men have nipples because we all started off as women. Hashtag free the nipple. I feel like this is the best time to finish this video. That's some of the facts about women. I'm Nate and I hope I've racked your brains.